I don't want any trouble from you guys. I don't want to attack. If you if you hit me, I'm going to hit you. Let, let's make this very clear. You know, you, you have... Whoa! Okay. Fine. You want to play it that way? Fine. You too. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Starfield. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and as you may remember, we are here on a very dark Cassiopeia at the moment, and um, we have to head out over to the graveyard. I would sleep, but I can't, I can't find anywhere to sleep, and the local time is... Hmm. The local time is to... Whoa, nearly fell off the edge there. I wonder if I can uh, knock in a, a bit of rest. I would prefer to do this in the daylight if I can. I mean, I am preferring not to die horribly. I can sleep in her bed. <laughs> let's not. Um, let's sit in a second and see if we can just bring this to daylight. Okay, and now we have some daylight. Excellent. There appears to be something over there. Now I can see it. I wonder if, I mean, whoop, I fell, I fell, I fell off the edge. That wasn't the brightest thing. Now, our markers are, talk to Telvin, okay. Collect the tags, the tags are that way. So that is where we need to go. But, um, yeah, this place is looking, um, okay. Which way is going to be the best way to go? I think, okay, back the way we've just come. Um, oh my god, where am I? Let's go up through. I think that's going to be the better way to go here. Yeah, this seems to line up for it. But yeah, we need to find these tags. And I'm guessing we're probably going to run into Sona's mother's body up here, based on what she was saying. I mean, I don't know how long ago... Um, it's been, or how long it's been, since, um, since her mother was killed. She wasn't particularly clear on that. Um, okay. Why they didn't use this area, I don't know. Um, we have chlorine, which we can scan there. Now... Oh, these guys. I've seen these guys before. I don't believe these guys are hostile, though, are they? These are, like... These are generally non-hostile, I thought. Um, so I'm just going to try and walk through. No, no, uh, red marks. Um, are you being hostile? Okay, I'm going to assume you're not hostile for now. Unless you start coming after me. You seem non-hostile. I mean, most of the coral bugs I've run into have been non-hostile. I mean, they have a red marker, but only when I put the target target on them. So, hmm. Again, you you guys, come on! I I don't want any trouble from you guys. I don't want to attack. If you if you hit me, I'm gonna hit you. Let's make this very clear. You know, you you have... Whoa! Okay. Fine. You want to play it that way? Fine. You too. And you. You want to... There. I'm liking the incendiary thing. The incendiary thing does awesome amounts of damage is that actually on this gun or is that actually um is this gun incendiary yeah this has ignition beams which makes it incendiary because there is a perk you can take with the lasers which i don't think i've taken yet which makes um there a chance for incendiary as well okay Doesn't appear to be anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Um, 
I was shooting at a tree. I am not over happy about this. I mean, it does not feel super comfortable. Right. No more trouble. Now, I was expecting to get jumped. That, that's one of the reasons I started to crap myself there. I was very much expecting to get jumped by a bunch of bad guys. So there's some tags there. Okay. Grab one. Grab one. Grab one. Again. How many are we at now? Thank you, game. You are not keeping up here with the number we're at. Okay. How many is that we how many is that we picked up, game? Really? Well, okay. This looks like the bad guys. Okay. Um Ooh. Oh, and then I just decided to take a health pack for no reason. Did he just hit me with something? Okay, hang on, hang on. A silverfish? Really? It was silverfish are something we have in the UK. And they are not hostile and they're tiny. And you get them in your house like little bug things. This is not a little bug thing. And this guy is hostile. I mean, that one wasn't too bad to take out, but the level 35 with the extra health bars, that's going to be a bit more to take out. Um, do you want to give me your stuff? Um, can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Excuse me, if you don't mind, would you like one of those there? What? Oh, that was a poor throw at the best of times. And again with a bad throw. Okay. Oh yeah, he was definitely spitting something. I mean, yeah, it's doing a good job, but it's not, I, I could do with a larger clip or just more damage here. I do like the auto, but um, yeah, could do with a larger clip or just more damage here. Dauntless crew tag. So that was a crew tag left. So is that 10 to 10? Yes, as I suspected. So that must be the bad guy that we were looking for. And everything else is all jolly. I mean, it's not a terrible planet to be stuck on. I mean, it's not super nice, but uh, I mean, there's some big bad guys. If you had some guns, they'd be alright. I'm surprised no one who came down in shuttle pods... I mean, ultimately, if you've got an emergency escape, escape pod, let's be honest, which is going to crash land on some so-say planet somewhere, would you not think that in, in your survival kit you would basically have one... some sort of gun with some sort of weapon, you know, rounds... I mean, granted, you are going to run out over time, but, um, you know, some some sort of weaponry. Hello. Uh, you know, you Carl bugs again, but you pissed me off. So you guys are going to get it. I don't care. Um, yeah, you know, and probably like oxygen breathing equipment, that kind of thing. You know, the kind of stuff you're going to need to, well, survive. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I didn't reload, but still. Yeah. That burning effect is actually quite powerful by the looks of it. Right. So. Back to Sarah. Okay, so that was a relatively uneventful return journey. Um, a couple of other of those Carl things. But um, I think... You know, that was meant to be the big bad, and it no, wasn't no, no, wasn't that no. bad. Oh, How God. How many times do I have to say it? I said I don't want to go. Leave me alone. Okay. Zona, this is not going calm well. Calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. 
You can't make me leave. Um, we can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Agreed. Can you talk to her? But you don't seem to have the best approach with this. And I'm an introvert and I'm generally crap at this sort of thing. But you seem to be absolutely shocking. Um, okay. I agree, but you, you can't force her. You know, you can't just drag her away kicking and screaming. I know, I know. I'm not proposing we knock her out for God's sake. <sighs> Easy. Look, maybe you can talk some sense into her. Help her make a decision. I just... Oh, I'm sorry. I can't do this right now. I can hear you talking about me. And I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. I'll go Will with you that. Just talk to her, please. Absolutely. Okay. I'm sure this will be fine. But um, just to make sure it is. Don't mind me while I... Um, and we've got one of those bottles of wine. I'm just going to neck a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only other thing I've got is I don't have there's a med that helps you with it but I don't think I've got any on me um, yes there is there I've got that one I didn't want to use that I was just going to knock a bottle of, nail a bottle of wine but it looks like I'm going to use the where are you where are you there you are that one All right I'm going to use the persuasion drug, so don't mind me while I pop some pills. Everything's going to be just fine. Why won't Sarah listen to me? Um, well... She feels responsible for your situation. Mom told me a thousand times that it wasn't Sarah's fault that we're... Well, that I'm stuck here. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had. Does it? Well... You don't have to be stuck here forever, is the truth. And do you really think this is the best place to live out the rest of your life? Mom and Dad told me there was a whole universe out there with exactly. thousands of planets. They showed me the maps and the star charts. That does sound pretty cool. But, well, it's also kind of scary. I, I fully understand. It would be hard to leave the only home I've ever known. Yeah, I mean, it won't be forever. I mean, you could come back here if you want. But... <laughs> you, you, yeah, you... I mean, if you really wanted to come back and visit here to visit their graves, I'm sure you can do it when you're older. But, um... You're not going to be safe here forever. You're, you're going to be outnumbered. Mom told me there were really bad people out there. Worse than the ones I've already seen. But uh, leaving Mom and Dad behind, it's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. I get it. I get it. When you're old enough, you could always come back and visit. And look. Yeah, your mom and dad would want you to live the best life you possibly could. Not stuck here on a planet. I suppose you're right. Mom and dad always promised that I'd leave here someday. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get... Well, wherever we're going. And we're going to Jemison. Um, which is on New Atlantis, which is the base of... Or the capital of the United Colonies. Which is who your parents were working for. How's that? Let me um, get my things together. And yep. we'll talk later. 
No problem, I was expecting some sort of persuasion check there. And, uh, yeah, what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by these two was that I am going to knock this up to very hard now because, let's be honest, this is, um, that was too easy. So we're going to go up to the very hard, please. Yes, thank you. And that does, that does keep it, I believe. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. And do we have a skill point? We do have a skill point, which I am going to start. Oh, this is so difficult. Look, I want to improve the ship situation, which means piloting. I also want to improve the gun situation. Now, mm, I'm almost there on the lasers, which would rank four would take me 5% chance to get more incendiary. Um, Rifle certification is probably where I would go next. Um, but I'm, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm going to relent on one of the things I... Well, then there's this. Then there's this. Then there's the weapons engineering. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's so much I want. Um. Um. Crap. Paralyzed by indecision. Okay, piloting. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Oh god, I got to put so many points into this to get the ships up though, so I better start now. Okay, okay. Okay. That was that done. Bigger decision this. Right. Sarah, we're good. She's coming with that us. Poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. Um Everything doesn't actually rest on your shoulders, but we're going to do the best we can for her. I'm sure she will do well. I realize that, but there's still cause for concern. With we're you. ripping Sonia from the only home she's ever known and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. I kind of thought you would keep her at the lodge for a while to help her adjust, not just throw her back into society. Um, I promise. Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go. There, there was an overlook? Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, so, where was it? Oh, that overlook was over there. The overlook over there. Over, over there? Over there. There, there is over there. Okay. I, I wasn't calling this much of an overlook, but I, I, I see what you're talking about. It's kind of picturesque. It's nice. It's pissing down with rain. Beautiful. You can kind of get a good view for the camp here. Oh great, and my persuasion's worn off just as we get into the thing. What is that up there? That is like, is that a beacon? That looks like a beacon. Why could we not sense them with the beacon? Plus, they have bacon. Um, okay. Talk to me, Sarah. Tell me. Look, before we head back to the ship, Look very I wanted in this to light. tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. The chance to survey a new world and help out at the same time. It was a dr yes, it was a dream come true. That is definitely my explorer part. Seeking talking. a promotion within Constellation, are we? Hmm. Keep making observations like that, and you're certain to win my favour. No, excellent. No, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes. Wider than they've ever been opened before. 
and it's all because of you. Well, I'm glad I could help. And to be honest, now feels like the moment for flirting. It feels like the moment we're at the overlook. We're at the overlook. If there isn't a moment to, to flirt, now will be it. You're trying to make me blush. It's not going to work. Hmm. I'm hoping there's much more than simple gratitude tucked away inside that statement. That seems like a horrible flirt line. I, I prefer I open the door and you step through it, to be honest. But I'm going to go for the flirt line. Let, let's go for it. This guy's an introvert. He's crap at flirting anyway, so let's give it a go. Perhaps. I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? <sighs> well, I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. Did I just pour cold this water on the situation again? much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. Well... Hopefully, um, crazily, Sona's gone back to the ship on her own, which seems to be insane. I've only just realised that. She's going to have buggered off to the ship on her own when we're heading back there anyway. Can we not bring her with us? You know, offer her, her some protection from the general nasties? I know she's got a Grendel, but still. Oh no, she's gone. Oh, I hope we don't find a corpse on the way back to the ship. Okay, well, Suna seems to have made it back to the ship much better than I oh, did. Okay, hey. let's talk later. I've got a million things to do. Okay, and you apparently have You've been something so for patient. me. What did you want to talk about? Um, do you have something interesting I for me? I should start charging for my services. Well, One more visit to Admiral. I'm hoping to get those kind of services this for free later. Of my life can finally be closed. Um, yeah, we've got a reasonable amount of space for Sona to buckle up. Um, just one point. I don't remember how to navigate my own ship. So, I'm going to find the cockpit, which is just over there, and get our ass to Jemison. So, we eating at the Sagebrook? Or is it just a quick snap from the Terra Brew? Um, I know. You want to go to dinner? You can get some dinner. Look, can we just uh, drop Sona off here? And uh, we'll... Where is the Sage place? Um, yeah, and check she's alright. You know, Much as I'm just a personal thing. Explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. Yeah. Nicer would be making sure. Okay, Barrett's got something for me. Um. More importantly, where's the little kid? I just want to make sure she's all right in here, and you know, settling in. Oh, my prognosis on my sprain has improved. Excellent. Which I managed to get jumping out of the thing. Your, your Andresia. Yes. Okay. Where's the kid? Um, let's just find out here. I know we need to go to Abel Logan, but I mean, can we not check on the kid? She's still in the ship. If we just left her in the ship, we should have brought her here. Um, we should have brought her here. It is, it's late. Maybe she was asleep. We'll just assume she's sleeping on the ship and tell her we've left her a note saying, we're in Jemison. We'll come and get you in the morning. Let's uh, get a bit of a kip. Time for a little talk, eh? Okay. Um, that was a little creepy. Did, did you just sit there and watch me? I feel a little bad that we left Sona in the ship overnight. Um, nice to see you again. Right. Um, look, Take care. Let's go and um, speak to Admiral Logan. On the way back to the ship and then we'll pick Sona up yeah because I don't want to leave her there in the ship this seems like like a bad plan hello Admiral I served my time in the fleet 
But were I a younger man, I'd be back out there now. Okay. Um, sir, would would you mind coming in? Where are you? There. Um, mixed news, sir. Welcome back. Did you find your answers? Well, yeah, we found the gene tags, but um, and our answers, but we did find a child which kind of might need our help. Let's say the mission wasn't for us; it was for the soldiers who owned these gene tags. And yeah. we did it for the child that was marooned there, a child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. Not a finest moment, but yeah. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? Um, well... Ooh. Do I want to say that? I think I do. Because you didn't go back, you kind of did dishonor their memory. How dare you say that to me? Thousands died because they believed in the ideals set forth by the United Colonies. I know because I've signed each and every one of their death notices. So don't tell me I've dishonored anyone's memory. Because I mourn those thousands every day of my life. We aren't doubting your integrity, Admiral. We are simply expressing our regrets at how this situation was resolved. You're absolutely right, yes. sir. This situation was handled poorly. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once Good. we're done here, we should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. What? You didn't leave a note for her telling her to go from the ship to the lodge on her own in a big effing massive city, did you? Did you? Did you? She is not good with kids. Worry about anymore. You know, I've just noticed since we fixed this tree that it's flowering. Was it flowering the whole time? Because that would have been a dead giveaway to what the problem was. I just never noticed it was flowering. I notice it's, you know, none of the others are. But just that one. That one was flowery. It could have been the answer all along. Anyway, now to see if Sona's actually made it here on her own, you crazy lady. Yes, well, Barrett's still here with questions for us, which which I guess we'll have to get to. Um, Sona, Sona's in your room. She made it. You are a resourceful kid. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you make it. Talk. We probably should. Um, Sarah? Sarah, do you, do you want to come in, Sarah? It is your room, after all. Um, yeah, um, how are you feeling about I the place? I guess we need to talk. There you are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard, though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. Yeah, um, it was pretty crazy letting you go on your own. That seems insane. Um, and I bet it was bloody scary. Yeah, it was. I guess I'll have to be brave. You're already one of the bravest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? It's a bit At the early. Lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillion here, Sarah. <laughs> oh, don't I wish? Actually, this that's place Walter. This isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? 
Yeah, I, I'm sure when you grow up, maybe, and uh, you, you know, I'm sure Auntie Sarah will buy you a ship. <laughs> Well, uh, Auntie Sarah can't exactly afford that right now, but she can provide you with the best exploration training in the galaxy. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well... I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. Um, absolutely. And you, yes, settle in, meet the gang, grab some food. There is food here you've probably never tasted in your entire life. There's some seriously good hey, good snacks out there. Hey, let me know when you're ready to take me along with you. Try Should pancakes and years. bacon and bacon. <laughs> pancakes and bacon. Possibly not together, but yeah, pancakes and bacon. You 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 go go try, and uh, just don't hit the bar, okay? And enjoy. Make yourself comfortable. We'll be back a bit later. Let's let's go then. Okay, so here we are. At the Colony War Memorial. Where, where, where did you go, Sarah? You were here a minute ago. Here you are. We're taking a rather circuitous route here. Mm. I feel like we should give you a minute. Lance Park. Grace Authors. Elias Aubrus. Mab O'Rourke. Christina Nabwi. No, no, Nab. What? This is me butchering names. I'm going to stop. Okay. D -d -d I feel like you could do with more of a moment. Are you okay? Look at this. All these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. To be honest, it could have happened to pretty much anyone out there. I mean, you should be proud of everything you accomplished, to be honest. And the fact that you had the conscience to go back and rescue that child, even though you didn't know she was there. But uh, go back and check on what happened to your crew. I am proud. <laughs> I was simply too foolish to realise it. Until you changed my perspective. Well, you know... I did what I think is best for you. I just want you to be happy. You deserve it. I'm not going to say that because that sort of diminish. A lot of these things seem to diminish what I'm saying because I did it because I want her to be happy. If I say I only did it because I care about you, then that gives me an ulterior motive. You know, I'm like, no, no, I did it because I want you to be happy and you deserve to be happy. You know what? You're absolutely right. I do. Which is why we really need to talk about our friendship and where things are headed with us. Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall. So we can talk in private. Absolutely fine. Okay, this is getting kind of awkward. The camera won't release me. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. 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 Whew. I was feeling kind of awkward right there. Right, over to the... Um... Where is the bloody lift to get up there? It's over by the well, isn't, isn't it? Okay. And here we are, up on the promenade. Which does look rather beautiful at this time of day 
I might add. We've not spent a lot of time up here. And it does seem rather odd to me, actually, that these, like, waterfall up here is here being enjoyed by everyone. Yet, yeah. isn't it the same waterfall that's, like, rocking down there behind the well? You know, aren't those poor people behind the well suffering? I mean... This view is absolutely insane. I mean, so, what did you want to talk about, Sarah? It's not much further. I think you'll want to hear what I have to say after we arrive at the waterfall. If you'll just bear with me. Yeah, yeah. I promise I'll explain. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I was just trying to get the position you, you wanted to walk in. You're hanging back because you're waiting for me to walk over here. And... But no, I kind of feel like this view is is prettier than that view. I can imagine the waterfall it's being very therapeutic, here, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other, but this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. It is. It is beautiful. It's very man-made. But it's, it is beautiful. I knew you'd appreciate it. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. Yeah, I, I can imagine this being a good spot to stop and reflect. And, I mean, you say gain your focus, but yeah. That's... Actually, why I asked you to meet me up here. <clears throat> I was hoping we could talk about something very important. Not another missing crew, hopefully not. I hope nothing's, nothing's wrong. You can tell me anything that's on your mind. Good, because I have a lot to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been... Constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Um, both of you have been through a lot, but I th yeah, both of you have been through a lot. To be fair, don't get me wrong. Compared to Sona, I've had it easy. I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. That's not your fault. You're just a bit like me and bad with people. <laughs> yes. Dealing with the unpredictability of people can be challenging. I suppose. Well, if that's true, this challenge is wearing me down. Oh, uh, am I wearing you down? Forget the past. Just move on. Move on with what you have right now. Um, though you deserve to be with someone like, like Moa, who understands your feelings. Finding someone like that would be wonderful. Wait a second. What exactly are you saying? I'm saying... I think we're great together. And I think we should be together more, as in together. Ha! Huh. <clears throat> Sorry, I, um... I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. From things you've said in the past... It's obvious you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. Excellent. Let's go. Um, I am more than willing. 
Ooh, are you sure romantic si Yeah, are you sure this is what you want? It's what I want, but is it what you want? I can't imagine being in love with anyone else. So, if you're willing to make the leap, I'm ready to do the same. Then, then I'm in. I'm in. We, we can both be bad with people together. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. Well, that escalated quickly. Whoa. You have something you need to discuss with me. Sarah now considers me an ally. And she gave me seven and a half grand for asking her out. I feel really odd about this situation. Okay. So. We need to talk more about the fact you're paying me after I asked you on a date. This isn't how things are supposed to work. But I guess the resolution to this will have to be next time. Because I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time. Thanks a lot.